Hi, this is Josh here at TechSpec, and today we're going to be talking about Conversation View in Gmail and what changes you can make to it. Um, this is especially of interest to people who are just switching from Gmail, perhaps in their uh, education domain, over to Outlook. So what are we talking about Conversation View? So here I am in my Gmail box, and you'll notice on some of these, for example, like this, where we have two um, next to the subject line, there's two emails in that thread. So um, Unlike Outlook uh, or, or maybe Apple Mail, you don't get a different line for each email that comes in. So let's look at this one on this subject line. Can we get buy-in? So um, there are seven emails in that conversation. So when we open it up, what we see is we see the original email here that was sent by Josh Harris. Then we see this little three. Then I'm EdTech. So this is my last uh, time that I responded, and then Joshua Harris responded with this. You will also notice, whether you're using Conversation View or not, you see these three dots here. Um, that Gmail is automatically hiding um, all the, the reply thread. Um, that normally, you know how the longer a reply thread goes in email reply thread goes in email, the longer this gets. This this sort of hides it. Then we see the last one here, and you see these all, if we expand, if we're looking for stuff. So, um, and the advantage here is, and if I click on that three, these are all the emails in this thread. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven. If, for example, I don't need to see this anymore, I can click just, just sort of above the name here to expand. Um, there's also this set of arrows, expand all, collapse all. So um, that's conversation view. And what it does is it means instead of seven lines here in my inbox, I only have one. Um, however, not everybody is a fan of that or it can take a little bit of getting used to. And then there's something sort of interesting is, notice this is my most recent email from 3.50 p.m. at the top, and as we go down, if you look down here, you'll see that the most recent is at the top. However, once we're in conversation view, um, let's click on these here. This is an hour ago, an hour ago, 49 minutes. So this, we're in the message list in the inbox. The most recent is at the top. Here, the most recent is at the bottom. So some people find that a little bit confusing, and there are ways that you can either mitigate this or just turn it off altogether. So one of the cool things about um, Conversation View is that if I hit reply all here and say, thanks, everybody. There we go, a little spell check there from Gmail. And click Send. And I come back here. The counter is done automatically. If another email comes in and someone else replies, it will keep floating this conversation back to the top. Now. Let's say I'm giving Conversation View a try, but I like it where the most recent is at the top, not necessarily at the bottom. Um, so here, see, the most recent is always putting it at the bottom of the conversation thread. So if you've seen another one of my videos, you've um, heard me talk about the Chrome Web Store. But if you go to the Chrome Web Store and you look for an extension called Reverse conversation, this one here, Gmail reverse conversation. We add to Chrome, and then we add the extension. You see the little recycling sort of thing has been added there. Then we're going to come here, go to Gmail, and refresh the page just to make sure it's working. And once we've refreshed it, it'll just keep going. Now, when I click into this thread, the last thing I typed was, Thanks, everybody. Notice my reply, reply all, and forward got flipped to the top. They're usually at the bottom of a Compose window. And when I click, we see the most current one is at the top, the one minute ago. Now, that's useful if we are giving Conversation View a try, and we just want this with the most recent at the top to be the same as this with the most recent at the top. But let's say you don't like that at all, and you just want to get back to everyone. Every email gets its own line in your inbox. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the gear to get into our settings. Now, we're going to take a look at 
all the, well, not all these settings, but a lot of these settings in another video. But under the general tab, if we scroll, you don't even have to scroll, but if you come down about halfway view and go conversation view off, then you are going to scroll to the bottom and you'll see there's lots of other things that'll be in another video and then click save changes. It will reload your inbox. And now you see all these emails all have their own. Now, if you're, so this is only four lines. Now, why was it eight before? Because it was a group email thread with two other people responding. So what's taken out are all my sent messages. So for example, where it says, awesome, thanks. Like my last response isn't in there. Where would I go to find that? I would go to sent items, look for, can we get buy-in? And here's my four responses to sent items. So that's conversation view and how to turn it off and on. If you want to play with it, you can always reverse any of the things um, that I've showed you. If we go into settings and turn the conversation view back on, which is what I personally prefer. I think it just reduces the clutter, but it lets you see the whole thing kind of as a conversation. Also, if you like conversation view and you don't like the Chrome extension, you can just come up here to the Chrome extension, right click on it and remove from Chrome, click remove again. And then to get it to load, you're just going to reload your web page. And that's conversation view and Gmail. Hopefully this has made, um, been helpful and made your Gmail experience even better.